Why do fuel injectors still become clogged or have spray pattern problems? Well, the answer lies in a little bit of chemistry and a lot of heat. When the engine is shut off, the injectors undergo heat soak. The fuel inside the injector can evaporate or break down, leaving waxy olefins behind. Because the engine is off, there is no cooling fuel moving through the ports and no fuel flowing through the injectors to wash those olefins away. So heat bakes them into hard varnish deposits. Over time, those deposits can build up and clog the injectors. A vehicle may have low mileage, but short drive cycles and increased heat soaks can clog the injectors. In the case of a direct fuel injector, where the tip is exposed to the combustion event, carbon can stick to the nozzle and cause a bad spray pattern because carbon searches for other carbon. Since the formation of these deposits is a normal consequence of engine operation, detergents are added to gasoline to help keep injectors clean. But if a vehicle is used primarily for short trip driving, the deposits may build up faster than the detergents can wash them away. On four-cylinder engines, the number two and three injectors are in the hottest location and tend to clog up faster than the end injectors on cylinders number one and four. Now, the same applies to injectors in the middle cylinders in both six and eight-cylinder engines. The hotter the location, the more vulnerable the injector is to clogging from heat soak. Throttle body injectors are less vulnerable to heat soak because of their location high above the intake manifold plenum. If you suspect an injector is clogged or malfunctioning, an injector balance test can isolate the bad injector. Scan tools that can disable injectors can isolate a port or direct fuel injector for diagnostics. So what is the treatment? There are both in-tank and fuel rail cleaning methods that can clear some of these deposits. But if an injector needs replacement, make sure you're replacing all the injectors as a set. Thanks for watching.